what's up, Dixie T here, and um, I'm going to just uh, do a little rant about some things that I saw on Monday Night Raw that were interesting, you know, very interesting. Uh, first things, I want to talk about how the, how MVP and The Miz pretty much got, pretty much, pretty much got like, um, like two big corners or anyone should care about, they were thrust in the spotlight, and they took advantage of it, you know, they took advantage of it, they... They took the ball around with it, and uh, I, I thought that was real good, you know, especially MVP. I mean, pretty much all that stuff came, looked like they didn't write that stuff down. It just came from the top of his head. You know, that's pretty good. And whole, you know, it was very good to see, you know, the WWE realizing that Triple H and all these guys aren't going to last year. I mean, we need to get a, a bench. We need a good, deep bench of stars rating, and hopefully MVP or Matt or, Matt or anyone else. You know, they need to get a deep, a deep bench because these guys are the future. Miz, um, MVP, I mean, you have Randy Orton, Legacy, they got, I mean, Priceless. I mean, they got pack up the wins. Matt Hardy can be uh, a guy in the future because uh, I think his time's coming up really soon. Um, you have a lot of, uh, I mean, you have Brian Kendrick, you have Kofi Kingston. These guys are the future. These guys are the benchmark. But the WWE better start treating them as such, and I think they are, and that's a good thing. I mean, if they don't, um, they're going to be right there when they're, I mean, I mean, I thought the same way with 2004, 2005, like you saw, like, Chris Masters, Carlito, um, Sheldon Benjamin, Charles, I mean, like, these guys, if you think of the great, and then they just completely dropped the ball and forgot about these guys. I mean, Carlito's doing good now. You're not tag team championships, but, you know, we already talked about that. I mean, he's completely ineffectual. He's completely mute and forgotten about. Um, and, you know, that's that sort of thing. But here's the things that disappointed me as well. I mean, MVP just, you know, joined on um, Randy on they got a match. It was a pretty good match going back and forth. And then Shane McMahon had to come and ruin it. I'm like... I understand you need to continue the story, but you know, why couldn't you have Randy Orton get like a sneak victory or something, using Legacy or something, uh, getting, you know, someone, you know, Cody Rhodes or something like that, getting the victory from MVP, MVP has a good showing, you know, loses like that, but yeah, have Shane, and then you know, before Legacy comes in, uh, destroys MVP, um, Shane comes out, destroys um, Legacy, you know, he has done it before. But now they, I mean, when you look at it, they, he pretty much came with a kind of beat that little bit crap out of Randy Orton and had a legacy come out, you know, and Shane man running. I'm like, I mean, you know, first off, my thought is, come on, Shane, you beat those two guys with, like, with, um, with your fist of fury. Now you have a kendo stick. You don't need to worry about them coming in with two chairs. I mean, I mean, I saw that before. I mean, they beat the crap. I mean, because you have seen Shane McMahon just pulling legacy. Like, dozens of times in the past couple of months. I mean, you know, I mean, not like, like, but, you know, Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase, which are pretty much now, like, pretty much the same way, like, Kurt Angle's security force now. They pretty much come with Randy Orton's security force, like, Kurt Angle's ones. Like, those two fat guys, um, that uh, Kurt Angle hangs out with the main of them off here. Yeah, they're pretty much like that, but yet they're skinny or too much like, they just look like Randy Orton. They don't do anything to get pwned all the time. Hell, you know what? The, those maybe monthly security guys look better than like, uh, Priceless right now. God, that's really sad, isn't it? But anyway, and, oh, and there's another problem with it. Um, MVP pretty much got forgotten about. I just focused on Shane and um, Randy. They just completely forgot about... Um, MVP, which, you know, sucks, and, and, and pissed me off. Um, another thing, um, why the heck John Cena had to come back this early? I, I mean, seriously, it's, it's, it's embarrassing. And it's embarrassing because yet all the stuff that happened to him on the last minute same match alone should have had at least like two or three weeks off. And then that big show came and just threw him to a spotlight, pretty much destroying him. I mean, like I say, he killed him, and then he comes back the next night. I'm like, why? I really lucky he's staggered, but yeah, it looks so stupid. 
it, it nullifies the work what John Cena, I mean, what Big Show did. I mean, and Edge. It just minimizes the whole effect. And you just... Well, it's the fact. And I know, I know it's going to be Big Show versus Cena on Judgment Day. I'm like, well, it would be a lot better if they just took time off. Triple H and John Cena both taking time off and let other people, you know, grow as characters and things like that. Or have, you know... One of the new draft is like MVP versus a uh, big show for the United States Championship or something like that. Bing, bang, boom, you know, or something like that. You know, have MVP coming off, is pissed off Vicky next, you know, Vicky says, you know what, you're pushing me off. You're going to have a big show versus you versus big show for the United States every time I just were there or something. Bat, a boom. And, and, show, and um, MVP goes over. And, you know, that, and that helps MVP out as well. You know, see, I just did that. You know, I, I, I mean, because that, that's a new feud as well. I mean, that's a brand new feud. And, I mean, you know, and you can see the time to recover and you can have your big show slash Cena feud for later. Now it's just going to look like John Cena versus uh, Big Show all over again. And, you know, it doesn't really help Cena much. I mean, Cena doesn't need any help. I mean, pretty much proved that he's a badass. And over by, you know, he's stronger than Superman now. And Big Show doesn't really need that as well. Unless he's going to actually have Big Show go over him. And he becomes a new number one contender. Or, you know, something like that. But, you know. That's just me. And, uh. That's what it is. Anyway, uh. I saw my little rant here. Because I think I was in jail, but. Those two things, those couple things, uh, that John Cena thing and that Shane McMahon thing uh, really confused me, you know. Um, that's all I have to say. Um, Duke CT here, signing off. Peace and love. Later.